Dear audience, please pay close attention to the sights and sounds presented in this musical creation, for there will be an educational query forthcoming which may test and or expand your knowledge on a grand variety of subjects, including, but not limited to, music, English, and mathematics. If you submit your answers via a message, and let us know you did, with a worthwhile comment below the video as well, you just might win a prize. Our first official meeting as members of the Unlimited Society adjourned and we exited the grand halls of House Hartwood in a euphoric state of wonder. There was a northern thoroughfare which bent its way around winding weathered roads until delivering us upon a grand vista. Daylight surfed the dew-soaked surfaces of sloping green hills, a forest of many ages evergreen gestured skyward, while the waters of a blooming cataract descended into hidden pools of a cup terrain. A prophetic suggestion, stated by a certain dignitary amongst the luminaries of the Unlimited Society, told of four animals destined to greet us and our new abilities on the morrow at sunrise, and there they were. We had been instructed to practice utilizing our newfound powers when appropriate opportunities to do so provided themselves to us, and we had apparently arrived on just such an occasion. We lifted our voices to engage the clouds above us in song, while observing an ancient truth. Sing of some of which you see, and sing of some you wish to see. As we did so, the accepting clouds rearranged themselves per our desires, while we did so, we were cheered on by a nearby trio of blithe hilltop flowers who were thankful for the additional sunlight made by our cloud-moving melodies. After building our confidence through effective cumulus serenades, we explored other possibilities through the use of our voices, the results of which should remain in non-disclosure for safekeeping for now. All the while, just as certain dignitaries had suggested, with each succession of notes we sung with unlimited society parameters in place, diamonds and other precious gemstones formed, growing unnaturally swift yet effortlessly like mushrooms at our feet, emanating forth from the near earth. We collected these gemstones, as per our instructions, and explored our emerging skills in other ways as well. Through the powers made possible with our voices, one of us took flight, and another of us lifted a boulder larger than all of us combined. One of us transformed into a fifth rabbit for a short time, and finally one of us conversed fluently with the unseen sea arriving in the distance beyond the waving green grass of the nearby hills. The time to proceed forward fell upon us like a warm blanket curls cool dreamers, and thus we did so. It is odd, even amongst such miraculous recollections of power and enchanted emerging capabilities, what I remember most about that day were perhaps the blithe hilltop flowers, dancing in gentle breezes, bowing as we neared.
And now for an educational query. Question one. The voice and piano composition within this presentation was in a certain major key, which has a key signature of four flats. Would this be the key of A flat, B flat, C flat, or D flat? Question two. The singer's voice within this composition was performed in a dynamic range closest to mezzo piano to mezzo forte or mezzo forte to forte. Question 3. There was a thoroughfare mentioned in this presentation. Was it a western, eastern, northern, or southern thoroughfare? And what is a thoroughfare? Question 4. How many rabbits were visible in this presentation? Question 5. What type of animal did one of the members of the Unlimited Society transform into within this presentation? Now remember, answer via message and let us know you answered via a worthwhile comment. Thank you and may your successes be unlimited. Oh, by the way, if you were to win a prize, what would you like that prize to be?